Before we do user validation, we need to actually get the inputted name and store it. The way we're going to do it is we're going to double click and add a new dictionary object to our game. What this is going to allow us to do is when we actually have text in this text box, we're going to store it to the dictionary. So let me show you how we're going to do that. We're going to go into the stats menu event, double click, and on that text box, on text changed, then we're going to add it to the dictionary. So what this event is saying is if there's any text, even if it's one character, this will be triggered. This action is going to get triggered. So the action that needs to happen is we need to have our dictionary add a key. And what this means is it's just like adding a variable. So if you have a variable that's called player health and it has a value of 100, that's what's going to be stored. It's just like doing that except it's a little bit different in that we have more control over the value. So what we need to store and what we need to call it is our input name. So this is the input that the user has given us for their username. And the value is going to be the text box player input dot text. So if we hit OK, what's going to happen is when the user types in here, this is going to get triggered. And when this is triggered, it's going to add a key called input name with the value of whatever the user has typed in here. So let me show you this working in real time. If we hit debug you, and we click on the dictionary object, you can see that there's a key count of nothing because we haven't actually added the key yet because no one's typed into this text box. So if I type Jeremy, you can see down here that we've created a key of input name with the value of Jeremy. And this also works if I have a value of A or anything. So, you know, there we go. But if there's nothing in here, this is where the validation is going to have to come in. If there is no text in input name whatsoever, then you cannot enter the world. But if there is, then you can. So that's what we're going to have to set up in the next lecture.